Hey there, my name is Ali. Today we're gonna blend these two photos together. You can find these photos in the description down below. I'll start off by pulling the first photo, which is this one. Let's minimize this for now. And then I'm gonna use the pen tool. I'm just gonna make some sort of a cut somewhere here along the ice. Then I'm gonna go all the way up. This is using the pen tool. You just keep, I do it by like keep pressing a lot of clicks and moving the mouse all the way up with the model or whatever like you wanna cut. Okay, I'm gonna speed forward this part. Okay, and once you're done, you close it, then you right click, make selection. Okay, make sure it's uh, zero pixels and add layer mask. Now I got the opposite of what I wanted. So pressing control I will give you the opposite. Okay, now here I'm gonna just use the lasso tool. We have some parts here we missed. So just using the lasso tool like that. I'm gonna get rid of that part. And paint on the mask of course with black to erase okay one more thing I need to do is I want to fade the edge so I'm just gonna select part of the edge like that make sure I'm selecting the whole edge and on the opposite side I'm gonna do the same something like that you can hold alt to cancel I want to cancel that part and now this is important watch out when you standing on the mask take a brush make sure it's black everything is like normal just a normal brush black hundred percent and just very softly I'll stand up and just erase very smoothly the edge just something very subtle so I can blend the two photos together just something like that okay then I'm gonna control D and now it's time to drag the second photo which is this one I'm gonna put it behind and I'm gonna increase its size something like that let's put it in the right place something like that one thing I want to do actually is I'm gonna change a bit the, like the perspective of the photo by cropping it something like that is good yeah that's much better and this photo I'm gonna put it like as you can see here this photo we have like a foreground and then a background so I want to blend the two foregrounds together so I'm gonna put this foreground here I want to blend this foreground with that one you see this hard edge I'm gonna stand on this layer take my brush now I'm gonna use a low opacity brush maybe like 30% and very softly I'm just gonna erase here and there the edge so that these two layers blend together as you can see now, you can't see the sharp edge anymore. Here we have another sharp edge. Let me get rid of it. Uh, so just, oh, you don't want to like overdo it. You see now I have the pixels appearing. So I'm going to paint with white to bring back this area. And uh, we have a problem here. You can see the man. I'm just gonna move it a little bit down just stretch it down a little bit until the man is invisible or I can do one other thing is by rasterizing the image so I can edit it then I'm gonna go to the clone stamp tool and I'll just clone stamp his head something like that okay now as you can see in the image behind we have like some blue color some red color so I need to make them like the same so I'm gonna stand on this layer here I'm gonna go to color first I'm gonna select both I guess I need to move them down a little bit yeah something like that is better then on this layer I'm gonna add a color balance adjustment layer link it below here we have in the mid tones we have some cyan I guess some blue and in the highlights we have some yellow and red we have here some red you see the uh, on the clouds some red maybe more red okay and um, let's do one more thing I'm gonna go use saturation then I'm gonna press colorize actually 
And I'm going to choose this color, which is somewhere near the blue, something like that. But then I'm going to press Ctrl I to make it invisible. Now, whenever I'm going to paint white, it's going to be visible. So I'm going to paint white here on some parts of the ice, only the very bright parts with a low opacity. So we have this some sort of blue. One more thing, this one is very bright and this one is not that bright. So I'm gonna go to a curves adjustment layer. I'm gonna take the bright parts, just pull them down a little bit. Well, actually now this one is not nice because when we darken it, things didn't go well. So I'm pulling this one a little bit down, something just like that. Okay, now let's go back to the color balance. Let me go to the highlights. I guess we need some cyan and the highlights, maybe some blue. Okay, now it's good. Okay, let me add a layer on top of everything, a curves adjustment layer. Let me pull the blacks up. Let me take the shadows here down. This is blending the whole image together. And some of the highlights like that. As you can see, obviously, we have a problem here between this layer and that layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand on this one. And with white, white will bring back, I'm going to bring back some of the layer. Some of the layer here, so we don't have these differences in the two colors. Okay, now it's much better. Okay, let me stand on top, let's color grade the whole thing. I go to curves, red, in the red I'm going to add some cyan in the shadows, some red in the highlights. In the blue I'm going to add some yellow in the highlights, some blue in the shadows. And then I'm going to hold Ctrl, Alt, Shift, and press E. Now we merged everything into a new separate layer. I can go to Filter, Camera Row Filter. Now in the Camera Row Filter, I'm going to take the gradual, uh, the radial filter. I want to bring eyes attracted to that area in the middle. So after I draw the circle, I'm going to increase the exposure, increase the contrast, increase the whites, Increase the clarity. I want eyes to be attracted here, so this area should be the clearest. Dehaze it a little bit, a little bit of sharpness, and make it warm. So I'll add some yellow and add some magenta. And I'm going to press OK. So now, as you can see, like I press Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z. You see, it made like a point of focus here in the middle. Again, I'm going to go to Filter, Camera Row Filter. This time, I'm going to do the whole image. I'm going to draw a vignette. Vignette is a black circle, but I'll, not, I'll do a very subtle something like negative 18. And I'll dehaze the photo a little bit. And I'm going to press OK. And I guess that's it for today's tutorial. If you have any comments or questions, make sure you put them in the comment section down below. Thank you.